He damn near smoked you. You see it on twerk. It's your boy James. Trust the process. I want to just talk about protecting your peace and sometimes it's not easy to protect your peace. Sometimes we have to go through those hard times in order to appreciate the good times. Stop being dirty. It's your boy James with the Stop Being Dirty. Stop eating dirty. Trust the process. Protect your peace. Link in the bio for all the merchandise. If you're watching right now, I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button. Now, as you can see, I'm heading to a little Halloween get together. My sister's having like a Halloween slash uh, housewarming. Congratulations to her and her new, um, her, her next step in life and uh, everything that she's uh, going through right now to better herself and better her life. Um, I support her in whatever she does and I, and I wish the best for her as she continues to be doing great. With that being said, this is why I have this shirt on, but it kind of applies, man, that, you know, a lot of times we, th we see that that stab, that stabbing pain. And usually it's in the back, that back stabbing pain. And you know, the new, new, no. Oh my God. So everything that's going on with Nunu and Beasley, um, if you've seen it, heard about it, if you haven't, this isn't the channel. You'll get the details about it. I'll just say this much, you know, the circumstance of what they're going through and just the overall aspect of cheating, getting caught, uh, pregnancies being involved and, you know, uh, people being married, people having girlfriends, people having kids, people, all these situations that many people have been through and uh, similar situations that I have been through myself. So therefore, with that being said, I will use this subject and this time to tell you um, a situation, some advice and things about myself. Instead of putting other people down and talking about the situation that they're going through, I don't wanna make a situation bad into something that's worse. I, you know, I believe that good karma comes when you, um, you know, don't kick, don't kick people when they're down because I wouldn't want that happening to me. I've had that happen to me emotionally and physically in my life so uh it's not nothing i want to put on anyone else so anyone who thought here's an opportunity for me to get at nunu because of you know she's had choice words for me over the years and fifty thousand view blogs you know bashing me and, and having an opinion on how she feels on me that's her opinion and if and her or anyone else's opinion on me affected the way i live and the way i carry myself i would not be the man i am today or the father i am and continue to be day by day and i give you the same advice who cares about the opinion opinions of others they can have their opinion as long as you can look in the reflection and understand that you're comfortable and happy in the position you are in life so i just want to say you know i've been cheated on before i've also been the cheater and let me tell you man both of it is just a is, is bad you know what I'm saying? Because even at the times when I was younger, you know, cheating on whatever girl I was, you know, I'm young, you know what I'm saying? Like at that time, you know, uh, I, you know, I dropped out of high school. I got a really good job. You know what I mean? I got, I, I, I was blessed in, in, to uh, basically be in the right place at the right time. And then, you know, I give myself credit because though the job was given to me, I was the one who applied myself and continued to keep that job. But it was unheard of 19 years old having the career that I did have, you know what I mean? And then um, with that being said, I also found a great opportunity for a $500 basement one bedroom apartment as well as my grandmother sold me her Ford Focus for about that same price. So I'm basically have my own apartment, own car, not living with my parents at 19 years old. So I say that to say this, I grew up fast. So um expect my uncle was um a bouncer at um two of the hottest clubs in Queens Boulevard. So he was also getting me in the clubs um yeah, so um, you know how that goes. So especially, so my pickup game at, for a while just could be my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm 19. I live a crazy life, but I know what the ladies like need a man that's polite, listens, and takes advice. I could be all three plus. I could lay the pipe. So I say that to say this. You know, I was uh, you know, not not the most faithful guy with women that I encountered. You know, I'm young, thinking this is the way to move around and do this and this it was more so i would call myself less of being not faithful and more of just being young and not that i'm cap copping out i'm just saying i really didn't have an official girlfriend i was just running wild you know what i mean but i did hurt you know women before that was my girlfriend you know what i'm saying and even in recent years you know hurting somebody you know that you know we don't think about 
what what the emotional toll that puts on somebody we don't think about the pain of your selfish acts does to somebody and you know i had to learn these these things the hard way because even when i when i when you think you're getting away with something you truly don't get away with it if you are a a, a good person because i would say you know just because you, you you've cheated don't mean you're not a good person but what i mean by saying you're a good person even though you did cheat is it messes up the whole dynamics of the relationship because so now like when your girl just gradually used to just have drinks with her friend on a sunday or you know go to the the deli uh uh to go get a dutch and you would not think nothing by it except she's just getting a dutch and now that you've cheated she's like hey i'm going to get a dutch i'm like who's up are you sucking why are you doing it to me you know that's like the aura and the energy you have but yet yeah, you're the cheater so let me get this straight you cheat so now you accuse the person who's never given you a reason to think they're a cheater or question how they that's that's not fair that's not fair. And that's what comes with cheating on one end. And then the other end, you know, getting cheated on. I mean, forget about it. You think you're tough till you find out someone cheats on you. Like, men are very insecure. Men are very possessive. Men are very, that's mine. Who is this? That's yours. But no, it's really not. Why'd you fuck him up the block? And it sucks. Like, is this someone you know? Someone you don't know? Someone who smiles in your face? You know, like, was it in my house, your house, whose house? Where did you go? What did you tell me you were doing that day when you were really, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, it really sucks. And overall, when I got cheated on, you know, I, it was the emotional toll that really, really put the true, true, true pain on me. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it, it was just like, wow, man, it really, it really hurt. and was something that I realized I didn't want to do to anybody else ever again. And I just wanted to, you know, change the way of thinking and make them moving. You know what I mean? Because like, even in these situ this situation specifically, that people are talking about now again i don't know if it's true or not that's why i don't want to speak on their details or whatever but this alleged rumor of the situation i'm even done mentioning their two names i hope they work it out and whatever the case is you know god bless them both but um you know you have to say you do have just a random situation where a woman is married and a man is married and they both you know they cheat with each other on their wives on their husbands and um that's already one thing that's hurtful but in the circumstance of someone you actually even get pregnant so now it's like you got away with the robbery you got to you robbed the bank got away with all of it you're over there giving high fives on the way to cross the border and realize you dropped your wallet with your id in the bank you know what i'm saying like that's basically what happens when you would get someone pregnant in um is it called wetlock i believe or whatever not married whatever the case. i don't want to butcher it but you get what i'm trying to say and um and that sucks man and, and you know that sucks and i've also been in a situation you know like uh, more so in a situation not with like that specifically but you know doing something that was too young and you know not being safe and basically getting put in a position where i had to make a decision where this wasn't best for our life to to, to you know sometimes you have to chalk up an incident as a mistake and something that isn't best for for yourself moving forward because if you're still a kid yourself who who do you think you are to raise a kid me as a father now 30 plus i understand it's it's no easy task and it does take a strong mind and i'm not saying you have to be 30 plus to raise a kid i'm saying at that age when i got caught in that situation i wasn't ready a young teen you know you know what i'm saying so things of that nature young 20s type thing like that I, I was very immature mentally even though my life was very mature i still was like you know i'm saying i'm in miami i'm in south beach i'm in izu i'm in electric music festivals i'm in all the concerts man square gardens i'm in um oh man i'm i'm in everything festivals house music parties to hip-hop clubs pizza zoo webster hall i mean i'm man club exit to hona uh so well i mean i could do this all day la marina like i mean it, I've, I've done it you know what i'm saying i've chilled everywhere done a lot and um i lost my mind my, my, my thought process of just sounding how cool i was but um back to back to the the, the point at hand is like I, I brought up that, that that detail about, you know, someone being with someone, you know, you don't know what you do to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Is it really worth the pain that you bring back home to that person, a person who sees value in you and greatness in you, and now they have to question themselves. So you're the cheater, lying, sneaky man or woman, and now that I'm home being great to you, I have to question that I'm lesser than because of someone who treated me lesser. That's not fair for them. And for the people who's been in that position and maybe going through it right now, let me tell you, you are worth more more and don't think because you're dealing with a someone who doesn't see your value makes you 
unvaluable. Someone who treats you worthless doesn't make you less worthy. It's the only thing that could treat you worthless is, is staying with someone that you understand sees you that way. You need to step up and you need to go. And you know, if you catch a girl or your man cheating on you and you left them, God, God bless you. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you're better. Now, also, I do believe in forgiveness. I believe in second chances, but there's a difference between you know, I believe in, you know, patterns, you know, people get caught cheating. And first of all, I, I'm already ignorant to it because I'm like, did you tell me you cheated or did I catch you? Because if I caught you and you didn't tell me, how sorry are you? Are you sorry what you did? Are you sorry you got caught? So you see, it's it's just a whole real mess up situation overall. So it's really not worth doing at the end of the day. You know what I mean? And then moving forward, you you mess your mind up because now you think every because you cheated, you think everyone who you're with cheated on you or, you, you know, maybe you cheated on the wrong person. Now you never find the right person again and you look back and say, why I could have, would have, should have, would have, you know, but even as the cheater, you have to accept what you've done and just learn from your mistakes. I've learned from my mistakes. I've seen the pain looking into the eyes of a woman that I've broke her heart. I don't want to feel that again, man. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. The side bitch, the, all that, it's not worth it. Whether I get away with it or I don't, it's not worth it. The guilt, the, the pain you put onto someone else has been nothing but kind and sweet to you. And nobody's perfect. So even if you had a messed up relationship, cheating is not the, the answer. You're weak. You're weak. Why don't you leave the person and then go and do that? Why would you put them through the emotional toll of thinking that they're, they're unworthy because... Because your own insecurities or whatever you're going out and doing it. I don't even want to bash or talk bad of a cheater. I don't know your circumstance. I never. I don't think it's ever a good reason to do it. But I understand we've all been there. As long as you continue moving forward and learn from your mistakes and understand that that's not the way to treat somebody, then I think um, your karma could be dealt with in a more or less... You know what I'm saying? Um, also, another thing, man, you shouldn't go around. Another last advice is don't go around pointing fingers or bashing people when you have a bucket you know, of dirty laundry. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the pot cord on the kettle black kind of thing. Sometimes you should moderate You should moderate the way you speak or highly opinionated on other people on the things they go through when you're sitting there knowing that you have lies and mishaps and mistakes like we all do. It's never fair for you to point your finger as if you're better than anybody else out here when you know your shit stinks as bad as I mine or his and hers you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day that's just another advice of like stop being so judgmental in this world we all make mistakes and i believe in forgiveness but i believe if someone does something over and over it's not a mistake it's a choice so that's great advice that i like to end on right there don't be a cheater man man up woman up and leave the person before you ultimately you want to leave them anyway so why do it that way where they should think less of themselves because you treated them lesser than and they're over there thinking more of you than you even deserve. You know, maybe you deserve someone that's not as good as the person you cheated on and you should lower your standards because that's the way you view people. So why should you receive any better? That's my take on cheating and get, getting, get caught cheating. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go out there and put people. This is my this is my take on it. You know, you can go to many other channels and many other opinions on the situation. But this is your boy, Jims, and I'm here to give advice and also put myself in situations. because I've been through a lot and seen a lot. So why not be fair and tell you some stories about what I've been through? Maybe you can relate to me right in the comments. You could tell me one of y'all stories, how y'all feel about being cheated on, cheating on others. How you feel now? Did you change? Did you didn't change? Do you realize you want to be a different person or the same? Do you like cheating? You know, there's many people out there, many different opinions. I'm here for it. Trust the process, protect your peace. Stop being dirty.